Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Subnautica. After that absolute harrowing journey that we had last time, I went and, uh... I, uh, did a whole bunch of stuff. First of all, the Seamoth has a new depth module upgrade. Second of all, I did a whole lot of farming for a whole lot of crap so that I could have a whole lot of stuff built up and ready so that I can build the Cyclops. It took a lot of time and a lot of effort, but it'll be worth it. Cyclops decoy tube upgrade. Be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Um. Ooh. All right. Well, I am not experienced, and it doesn't really matter because, quite frankly. I don't have three. I don't have a total of three people around with which to help me do this. Captain, all systems online. Oh, good. Ah, we now have a cyclops, a submarine, a true big old submarine, uh, meant to be. Man crewed by at least three people. Oh boy, engine. It's got its own power cells. It's even got its own uh, upgrade fabricator on board. Which reminds me, did I take that? Up? Why do I have more copper wire? I'm confused. Decoy launcher, that's something. Do more power cells. Ah, upgrades. Right, uh. And a fire extinguisher. Excellent. But most importantly, a, its own self contained docking module. That way I can dock either the Seamoth or the Prawn suit onto this thing and transport it around using it. Full hull integrity, another fire extinguisher, control of lighting and floodlights. Oh, I can even edit the color and whatnot of everything, but not right now. Let's first get this Cyclops. Engine powering up. Ooh, yes. Good. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> right. Down we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Preparing for a turn. Turn being prepared. Preparing turn. Turn is being prepared. Turn complete. Up a bit. Forward. Ooh. The thing even opened up. Ready to accept its new vessel. Or ready to be a vessel for something. But that's not what I want it to be a vessel for. I want it to be a vessel for this. Okay. Oh, yeah. Engine powering down. <laughs> Why did I close this? Prawn suit, get ready to accept your new home. Or, well, maybe not a new home per se, but. but for fuck's sake. Dock, please. 
Docking procedure. Proceed to dock. There we go. Prawn suit docked! <laughs> oh, and I can access it's stuff from inside the ship, so I can get the copper that I put in there. I can even take out and adjust all of the equipment just from here. Oh my goodness, yay! But not right now. Okay! Woo! We now have our own submarine! Oh my goodness gracious, I am... So freaking pleased with myself. There is just a couple of catches to this, of course. First of all, uh, no, we do have. We can go down like 500 meters. The engine's offline. But we're gonna have to need to. We're gonna have to be able to go a lot lower than 500 meters during the course of this game, so... Right. I now have a submarine. And I have no fucking idea what to do with it. I mean, I wanted to have the Cyclops so that we could transport it around with the submarine. But I get the distinct feeling, the distinct impression, Oh, that closes off when the thing is docked. Interesting! But yeah, I get the distinct impression that I hadn't really thought much beyond this point. Um. Because I'm an idiot. Oh, it even has its own storage modules. Not very big storage modules, mind you, but storage modules nonetheless, so I can store a good number of things. Actually, you know, I might as well leave that at the outpost. Alright, so our major quest here Welcome is to be able to continue construction of the Neptune escape rocket. The thing about that is, is there are certain materials that I am not well versed in enough as yet to be able to adequately do that. That. Let's. Actually, I don't know why. Do I? No, I don't. I don't. Yet. Yeah, no. I, uh, uh, God's sakes. Too many things I need to take into consideration here. Not the least of which being all the stuff I'm going to need to be able to take with me. And to help support myself with my new submarine. Okay. Oh yeah, the one that I want to build. What I want to do is I want to build. An interior grow bed? Eh, or I may have to settle with a planting pot or a planting shell. No, I want a grow bed because I want to be able to grow certain things. I need more titanium. Okay, hold on a moment. Oh, no, wait. One more thing. Before I leave. I mean, I could do this later, after I finish that up, but... Voodoo! Engine efficiency now 300%. Okay, good! We're efficient now, but we're not done. I want to have an interior grow bed, and there's something I've sort of been neglecting. I forgot about the marble melons that I found on that island before. And I want to go back to the island, get those marble melons, and plant those in the planter. So let's first dock this, since it can dock now that the uh, prawn suit is out of the way. 
Okay, so many things to think about here. Need to get more titanium so that I can finish that grow bed. Back out into my submarine. Finish the grow bed. Okay. And now I'm going to take this submarine back to the floating island. I don't need internal lighting. All I need to know is where I'm going and how long it's going to take to get there. Engine powering up. All right. Up we go. What the hell? Ugh. Weird gra graphical things going on here. We're turning around. Making a 360 degree turn. So that I can see the island, because I know the island's over yonder way. Beyond. Come on, finish your turn. The island is off in this direction. So that's where we're going. It's going to take us through the shallows, and that might be a problem, but. Hello? Oh, it's you again. <laughs> cat. Always a cat. Always, never not a cat. But I'll get back to you once we get back to the floating island. This could take a while, because this thing, you know, one thing about the Cyclops is that, you know... Okay, here's the thing. I can rig this thing to go faster. An inflamed emergency speed. Warning. Vessel counterfeit. Excessive noise. It's not that much faster, but one thing that it does, as we're going to see as we move forward, at this speed... What the hell? Yeah, if we go too fast, we build up too much thermal energy, and this thing starts to get a little bit annoyed, overheats and whatnot, which is not good. So, yeah, I can't go too fast with this thing. Not that I could go that fast anyway, but for all intents and purposes, I just want to be able to get there without damaging this thing. So it's going to take a while. Fast forwarding is permitted. Powering down. Okay, we've arrived at the island. Turn the lights on. Exterior lights. Uh, no, I'll leave those on for right now. We've arrived at the island. I want to go back to those uh, grow beds at the Degasi base. Pick up the marble melons so that we can put those in the planter on the ship so that I can rely on those as my food resource. So. <sighs> and of course, it's dark. Did I bring my regular flashlight? No, I did not. Whatever, I'll get back to you once I found it. Okay, looks like I'm back here. Alright, I wanna. Huh? They're marble. I want to collect the marble melon uh, seeds. Seek fluid intake. I, I no, it's what I. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, we have the marble melons. There's still things chittering around here, but with that said, I can now take these or the lantern fruit, whatever I care about. I'll just no, yeah. Marble melons. So I'll have the marble melons and I'll take these so that I can plant them inside my ship. And then we'll carry on from there, I guess. Maybe. Huh? I don't know. Systems huh? online. Yep, that's good to know. So let's get these marble melon seeds planted. And that will be my food resource. Okay. Progress has been made. 
not much progress as yet because I don't actually have any food uh, available to me. Okay. The phrase, what next, comes to mind. Um, I need to start thinking about the resources I require in order to continue upgrading all the things. And, of course, the Neptune boosters. I, uh, all right. The one thing that I don't know is where to find nickel ore. So, give me a moment to look that up. Ooh, nickel ore is a bit of a bitch because unfortunately, it requires us to go someplace that I am not sure that I am entirely ready for. Um, Short and to the point, it requires us to go really deep. And I do mean really, really deep. Same thing for just about anything else. Alright. Thoughts, 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 thoughts. Okay. Oh, that requires nickel ore too. Depth modules require nickel ore. Oh, wait, no, no, no. The Cyclops has a depth module upgrade that will increase things, and I don't need nickel ore for that. All it requires is plasteel and three rubies. Plasteel I know how to make because that's ti uh, titanium ingot and two lithium. So I just need to get titanium, and I think I have plenty of lithium and rubies, which I think I have some spares. That way I can make an upgrade module to the Cyclops. The thing is, I don't remember about the prawn suit, because I'm probably going to need a depth module for the prawn suit as well. But I can't. No, I can't. Oh, this is shit. Okay. We're going to cut this episode here. I am going to go make an upgrade module. I'm going to go get the stuff required to make an upgrade module for the Cyclops. And then we are going to go on a journey far, far below the waves of this surface. A planet four, five, four, four, what is this fucking place called? Four, five, four, six, B. We're going to go far below the waves of 4546B in the next episode of Subnautica. But for right now, we're going to have to cut it short. Because I've got some things to do and not enough time to do it during a half-hour recording session. It would be great if I could do an hour-long recording session, but I don't think my computer could do that uh, at current. So we're just going to have to deal with the hand we're dealt. So with that all said and done, thank you for watching. As always, there will be links in the description below for which to follow up upon social media. As well as my coffee page, if you can care to donate through that. RCFS and out!